I'm Linda Moore, the collections curator here at the Fort Collins Museum of Discovery, and we are in the collection storage facility, which is an environmentally controlled place where we keep all of our archives and artifacts safe when they aren't on exhibit here at the museum. And you might be able to sort of tell looking behind me here, our collection is very eclectic. We um, collect in order to interpret the um, history and life here in Northern Colorado. And so that includes just about anything you can think of people doing or things that appear in the environment, anything that reflects our unique experience here in Northern Colorado. Now, some of my favorite artifacts end up being things like this over here, the clothing on uh, textiles that we have in the collection. And that's because clothing is just, it lives right along with us and it tends to reflect a lot about the people it was covering. Um, like in this case, this was a piece we had out recently for our 1960s night. And I don't know if you can tell from there, but this is a dress made of paper, which um, doesn't seem all that practical, but uh, in the 60s, there was this idea that we could make paper clothing, you'd put it on, and at the end of the day, you'd throw it away, and it would save you all the labor of doing your laundry. But of course, um, when we look at it today, that's not a very sustainable model. Uh, and this paper dress was actually created by Scott Paper Company, and it, more than high fashion, was meant just to promote their paper products. And so they put out this dress in this pattern. There were also party paper cups available and napkins and even paper tablecloths. So the idea was that you could throw this fantastic event at your house and you would be completely coordinated head to toe and your whole table as well. So this is just one of about 38,000 pieces we had that you could explore here in the collections. And uh, the collections at Fort Collins Museum of Discovery are an open resource. Uh, we have researchers coming in and doing specific projects in collections, but anyone is welcome to call us, email us, make an appointment, and just come in and um, check, check us out. We're happy to do that. And we do get a little lonely back here, so I hope you will give us a call.